we talked a lot about wrist control and when when you're going to engage your opponent, whether it's wrestling, whether it's grappling, whether it's jiu-jitsu, whatever it is, you have to control his hands. Okay, you have to control his hands at all times. Okay, but the only way you're going to take him down is if you get past two things: his hands and his head. Okay, so. When, when I was talking about wrist control with the last week, I was talking about how we grab the wrist. Normally, most people are going to grab wrists like this, right? That's not nearly as effective because he's going to come out and attack my wrist and drag me by. So what I want to do is I want to attack here so that my thumbs are in. So now I, he, can't, he can't clear my hands. He can't grab. He can't reach across. So put something like this. So again, I'm coming to the elbow here, I'm going to snap because I want that foot to react, right? I'm going to pop this elbow up because I'm clearing that hand, all right? Now I'm going to keep you on your feet. A lot of times for my wrestlers, we're going to come there, but I'm just going to keep you up on your feet, get what we call a snatch single, okay? Here. So, bottom line of takedown defense is really three things. Legs back, heavy hips, get his head down. Okay? Legs back, heavy hips, get his head down. All right? Regardless of how deep he is, if you get your legs back, you get your hips heavy, and you get his head down, there's no way he's going to finish. When you attack me, I want to throw my hips to away from the side that you're attacking and get your head your head. Okay, so this is the position. You feel how much pressure on the back of your head? Yeah, I can't move much. Right? Yeah, no. Then you're not going to be able to finish. No. All right? So when his head comes up, he's going to finish. When his hips come in, he's going to finish. All right? When your legs aren't back, he's going to finish. All right? So legs back, hips down, heavy hips, get his head down. Okay? Yeah. 